So Graphics Talk recently asked whether I'll be interested to review the Alpha 65 which is the Gallium Nitride uh, fast charger which was featured on my previous video and as a reverse question to them I suggested whether I'll be able to review the Mars Pro speaker. Now I actually asked for the specific orange which is like a damage effect one and it's mainly because I want to match and give some sort of like a present, like a spaceship kind of feature for my dear friend Eilid DQ here. So you know what is painful? I had to wait almost half a week staring at this box because I couldn't do the unboxing because I want to share it with you guys. That's how much precious you guys are. So for this speaker indeed, it comes with the audio file level acoustics, Bluetooth of 5.0, uh, full range dual speakers. That sounds really interesting actually. I don't know what that means. Uh, it also comes with the RGB lights. So all these LED flashing around with my times gate will be really cool. 15 hours of battery. That's fantastic. So a TWS, which is a true wireless stereo and a shock absorption structure. Now that sounds really interesting indeed. And it actually shows one of the feet of the speaker and it's actually made of zinc alloy body as well. No wonder why it's pricey indeed. So I'm really excited to do the unboxing. So if enough said, let's get on to it, shall we? So here it goes. Cutting this bit here. Yeah, I think brilliant, finally. Right, so nice, look at that. Really cool logo there. Look at that, that is so beautiful. It's cold and it's a high quality metalish feeling as well. So if we were to pull it out, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is so beautiful. Weight itself, and when you touch it, the quality is top notch. Let's look at that logo there. I'm so glad I asked for this. Okay, so the remainder of the box itself, we got a good quality USB-C cable to an USB-A. I have to admit, this is the first time I actually seen such cable, which actually has a microphone jack on one end and a USB-C instruction manual. So I'm just wondering all these dent marks that you can see here, whether the same line of the production that comes next to this has the exactly the same dent and damage mark. So it's really well detailed all over front and back. The only way it can actually transform is by folding it out the leg. So that's how it looks like. And when you actually place it onto the desk or any flat surface is that you got this really nice soft cushioning feel and it's really well settled it's because there is this rubbery sort of feet. And it actually adds a story like as if Ilic DQ just came out of the spaceship, just like Dragon Ball Z and is trying to do a desert quest, okay? I like DQ hence. It's a really perfect uh, set. So we got the Bluetooth button here, on and off button, and also pause you can see here, lighting button, battery level, and the Bluetooth connection level on the other side, okay? That's perfect. Volume button here. So in the instruction says you gotta slightly press it and then do up and down. It's like when you press it, nothing goes in, but it actually indicates or actually recognize your touch. At the bottom, we got the USB-C connection to charge for 15 hours max. If you press this for a very long time, it's power on and off, but if you press a single, it is pause. Now, if you were to press this one light on and off, for a single switch, it will be a switch of a color, but if you actually double click on it, it will be always on mode of breathing, gradient mode. So single click for connecting to the Bluetooth, Click it again to disconnect. And if you want to connect with the TWS net connection, you just need to press the Bluetooth and the other speaker for three seconds. To disconnect the network, you just need to double click on the Bluetooth button. Now to press the Bluetooth and the light button at the same time is to reset the speaker. If you want to press the Bluetooth and the on and off button for five seconds, this will delete the Bluetooth record of the ones that you're connected to. So long and behold, let's actually turn on the actual speaker. Whoa, look at that. I didn't realize the actual lighting effect is within the inside of the speaker as well. And that sound sounded like the StarCraft tank. So we got a really good angle along with Eilid. Ah, it says ready to pair. 
So we're ready to get connected to the Gravistar Pro on my Bluetooth setting for my smartphone, but let's just quickly go through the lighting effect, shall we? So as I predicted, there's a stripe here and here that looks like a robotic face. That in-depth sort of lighting effect on the speaker is really cool. You get sort of like a greenish color as well. And as I predicted, there is this uh, light strip here and there uh, on each feet and grills. That is really cool. I didn't see that coming. I should have looked more carefully on it. And on the right hand side back, we can see the battery level is pretty much full. And on the uh, left hand side, you can see the blink uh, indicating that it wants to connect to the Bluetooth. So if I were to press the lighting, ah, that is really nice. That's even cooler, isn't it? The purple, that's the red, that's the blue. And that's a darker blue and back to the orange. And if I were to double click on the actual speaker itself, you get this like a breathing, ever changing lighting effect. Now, I think that's about it, isn't it? That should be the best of the lighting effect so far. Let's pair it. Bluetooth connected. Wow. That was really professionally pronounced. So regards to the actual volume itself, you can see that it's more than halfway through to the top. It's quite dimmed. If you actually press it up and down, there is no sort of change. So I guess this effect will happen once you actually play a song. So for the quick sound test, I'm gonna use this track called Whisper by Jiggler as usual. So here it goes. Okay, here it goes. It's already good, I can tell. Obviously I'm not a super expert, but you know, the dense, the quality, everything is really good. Here it goes. Okay, so while you play the music, if you want to increase the volume, you just need to press this. There you go, it gets louder. So this is only possible when you actually play the music, okay? Just to explain to you, the treble and the mid actually comes from the front and the subwoofer is actually from the back. So you can see that it's slightly vibrating because the volume is not loud enough. So let's actually increase the volume. Look at that. Let's actually hold it up to show you. Oh, that is a beautiful shot. So the grand finale is to show you how Mars Pro could interact with iLick DQ. Look at that. <laughs> so you already read the tempo. Let's see if it changed with the beats. Increase the volume. I mean, they just fit so well. It's like a perfect fit, isn't it? I just love this. I'm so happy that these two are combined, working together as a team. So quick history on my channel. I remember starting with uh, Anki Vector here, and since then it actually expanded humongously with all these features here. I'm really loving it. And I got the luxury now to build up a story combining it with each other. Now, as you can see from my previous video, I reviewed the Alpha 65 Gallium Nitride fast charging plug that I could now combine it with the Luna robot and also the Rux robot with Zingle robot here as well. With the transparent effect, I got the game console with the mobile phone and also the earbud that goes along with the Robot Creator DX here. With the LED feature, this is really cool by the way, that could go along with the Timescape by Devoom. And I think the most standing out feature overall here here is my favorite yellowy color with the damage effect of these two combined. When someone walks into my room, they will immediately see these two saying, wow, it looks like you got this nice robotic feature, but in fact, this is like an entertaining 
eyelid robot that looks like a cool sort of realistic dent super uh, spaceship that actually creates a really fantastic sound. So this is something that I have a joy in my life at the moment and to see such a cool robotic looking really good sounding quality of a uh, Mars Pro uh, by Gravistar to go well with my really one of my favorite um, robot called Eilid DQ is a great pleasure all around. So I hope this video sort of emphasized how cool, how important for me to have this. And those who actually own the Eilid DQ especially, you should definitely get this. It actually creates a story within your own room. So I hope this video clearly explained how cool this Mars Pro speaker is. I just love the quality, the sound and the look that goes well with Eilid. But if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video once again. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.